New tonight, fentanyl fears on the minds of many San Diegans ahead of Halloween and a former DEA agent speaking with parents and students at a local middle school today about what they need to know about the deadly drug. Fox 5's Zara Barker is live for us in San Marcos. Zara. Kathleen, it's the start of Red Ribbon Week here in the San Marcos Unified School District. And to kick it off, more than 1,200 students at Woodland Park Middle School heard from a former special agent with the DEA and talked about the dangers of fentanyl and other drugs, especially in the San Diego community. The rainbow fentanyl is a scary development. Fentanyl is considered a public health crisis in San Diego County. The San Marcos Unified School District says it wants to get ahead of the problem with their students. While we haven't experienced it here at Woodland Park Middle School or in San Marcos Unified, um, we really want to be proactive and we want to, uh, again, work with the parents to, uh, to really prepare them to have tough conversations with their kids so that we can do everything we can to, uh, to prevent this from becoming an issue here in our community. To help, the district brought in Rocky Heron, a former DEA special agent in San Diego for more than 30 years, to talk with 1,200 students during school and give a presentation to parents Monday night. He says education is where long term change can happen. I'm trying to make the kids aware of how scary it is to experiment with drugs today, and I'm trying to make the parents aware of it, and hopefully that causes a continuation of the conversation at home. In San Diego last year, 12 students under the age of 18 died from a fentanyl overdose. Heron says he's been concerned about the impact of fentanyl since 2015 and says it's only gotten worse. There's no limit to how much the drug traffickers can make. So we in law enforcement can seize a million pounds of it and the drug traffickers can produce two million more. Less than a week ago, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors approved mandating fentanyl education and Narcan distribution in schools. And the San Marcos Unified School District confirmed with me today that every school in their district has Narcan on campus and someone who is trained specifically to administer that if they ever would need to do so. Live in San Marcos, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News. All right.